Thank you. So he served as the deputy registrar at Kerala Kalamantalam for 34 years and has been going around the world as the ambassador for temple art forms, especially for Kathagali, among many other art forms. And his first tour was in 1986. So I will let you go figure that, right? He's been touring the world, just promoting and encouraging people to try to get to know this art form, which is very complex in itself. So, and he's been doing that for almost 40 years. Kerala Kalamandalam, by the way, I just mentioned, that's, um, you know, I don't know if everybody knows, Kerala Kalamandalam is a public institution based in Kerala, the northern part of Kerala, and it promotes and it kind of specializes in imparting trainings and has been a place where a lot of art forms have been taught to many of the art lovers. And we've had people going from outside India, dedicating their time at Kalamantalam, trying to learn um, not just the, the art forms, and also experience the art form, right? So that's a place and that he has been spending most of his life. And he has been touring around with some of the experts from Kalamantalam to take this art form to all parts of the globe. The next person that I want to introduce who will be here as the performer, and you all will see him in full costume of Kathagali, and he is none other than Sri Kalamandalam Manoj. So I will ask you to save the applause when he is here anyway. <laughs> as the name implies, Kalamandalam Manoj. He's a proud product from the Kalamandalam of Kerala. Um, he is a versatile artist, performing multiple roles in Kadagali, ranging from heroic roles to demonic roles. Um, when I talked about um, Sri Kalamitla Manoj, I want to call out because I heard and I, I heard from him this time when I met him. Um, one of the trips he made for three months in Europe, playing King Lear, Shakespeare's play, of course, right? And he played. King Lear, because someone was courageous enough to compose that in Kadagali format. And he traveled, what, five countries, sir? Five countries in Europe? Yeah. Yep. So, and he played the role of Gonril, the Tom, and the Fool. So, and I couldn't imagine how that would be, right? I mean, it's amazing. So, so again, you know, all kinds of experiences are being done by Kalamandalam and these great artists, right? And I also want to mention something that that's not in this is that you know we were here at 1:30 p.m. He's been in the green room for a good five hours, just doing the makeup and the costume. I hope we can today just give some respect to that too, right? Um, by just just paying attention to it for the next 90 minutes, please. Right? I I just don't know how that is done, and. One thing I know, it's very hard to maintain such an art form from generation to generation, right? So I think we have an opportunity here, so let's enjoy. Without further ado, I want to hand this over to Sri uh, Kaladrin, who will give an introduction of the play today, and he will also introduce the art form a little bit to you all. Thank you. Thank you. to be here, although this sort of performance is not our focus. We are mostly concentrating on universities and colleges where Kathagali becomes a body education program. So the whole movement techniques of Kathagali are introduced to the students of theatre and dance in most of these colleges and universities. That is our main target. But we have friends uh, here and there, so we conduct some performances also. And this is part of it. We are extremely happy to be here in front of all of you because seeing Indian audience is also a delightful experience because usually we come across uh, foreign students, American students or from Europe, students from Europe who do not know anything about it and who have uh, so much of a cultural distance. But still, they are very eager to understand what the whole aesthetics of Kathagali is all about. Well, uh, now coming to Kathagali, 
is an amazing amalgam of dance, theater, music, vocal and instrumental and intricate and intriguing facial makeup and costuming. As Manoj was mentioning just a while ago, it takes about three to four hours for an actor to transform himself or herself into a Kathakali character. Such a long drawn out process. So much of details have to go into facial makeup, ornamentations, costumes, and there are 64 knots on the body of a Kathakali actor. So you can imagine. Yeah. And uh, the character is transformed from a worldly level to a non-worldly level once the whole makeup and costumes come into the picture. And uh, when it comes to the uh, verbal acting in Kathakali, as you know, in all theatre traditions, what we can see is that verbal acting is done by the actors themselves. If you just take the predecessor, the distant predecessor of Kathakali Kudiyatam, the traditional Sanskrit theatre, perhaps some of you might have seen because the Kudiyatam troupe toured these areas just a while ago. The actors themselves speak. In Kudiyatam, they speak in Sanskrit, uh, chased Sanskrit by the male actors and crude form of Sanskrit by the female actors called Prakrit. But in Kathakali, this verbal acting is separated from the actors. It is given over to two vocalists who stand behind the actors and they sing the text of the play. And this text of uh, uh, Kathakali is composed from the great Indian epics, the Mahabharata, the Ramayana and the Bhagavata. And um, before a Kathakali performance begins, a lamp, brass lamp will be lighted, uh, one week facing the audience and the other facing the actor. And the two major instruments used, uh, percussion instruments used in Kathakali are Chanda is a high sounding instrument played with uh, two sticks by the performer, that is for the male characters. And there is another musical instrument called Maddalam, which is a very heavy instrument horizontally held by the performer and played by two hands, a very heavy one. And that instrument is for both the male and female characters. And traditionally, Kadali has been a male bastion. Females uh, didn't have much of a role in it till 1970s. In the 1970s, a women's troupe emerged in Kochi, in Triponathara precisely, and uh, they are doing some of the Kathakali plays, not all the major ones, but some of the plays. So, women uh, have an entry now, women have an entry now in Kathakali, and especially in Kalamadaram also, uh, girls are admitted to various courses. It was not, they were not given admission till recently, but that has also been, that's no more, that, that chapter is over. So, the women are also coming into this, but it's, a, it's an art form, as you know, it's a nocturnal affair, in fact. So, women have some sort of resistance. Traditionally, they had, but now that situation is fast changing. And Kathakali actors basically communicate through the hand gesture language. The stylized and semi-stylized hand gesture language. There are 24 basic hand gestures like we have alph alphabets in English or Malayalam in other languages, from which about 500 to 600 words are constructed for the basic communication between the characters on stage. Of course, they do have the facial expressions, they do have the b body movements and the dance, everything contributes to their communication, but the basic communication is with the hand gesture language is a bit tough, it's a bit complex unless you know, unless you are familiar with it. So it takes a while for any spectator to have a basic understanding of what this what these hand gestures stand for. Because some of these hand gestures are very abstract. Some are a little bit realistic. For example, I can just tell you I don't we don't have the time to go into the whole details. There is a basic hand gesture called Mrgashirsham. This is a hand gesture. This hand gesture is used to, to show deer. Deer in the forest also. So it has a realistic tone. Another 
hand gesture is sarpasiras who do the serpent who do the snake so that has also realistic tone but when it refers to lady or so woman this is a hand gesture it's a very abstract uh, hand gesture and for elephant they use this pataga this hand gesture that's also a stylized abstract hand gesture so meaning is attributed to the hand gestures more often so that's why the communication between the kathakali artist and the common people becomes really a hurdle and it's also a cultural question in fact because kathakali uses uh, uh, some of the scientific uh, tenets of hand gesture language and expressions as we find in the nadi shastra of second century ad at the same time it also uses so much of the regional movements and behavioral patterns so it's a combination of the great tradition and the little tradition the sanskrit tradition and the vernacular tradition so these two are combined in the kathakali performance and that's why sometimes it becomes esoteric not many people are able to appreciate it but still if you know the storyline you can follow it you can have a general idea of what's happening but if you want to know the details the literalism of it then you just have to you should have a flair for language you should know, know a little bit of uh, sanskrit and an inclination towards sanskrit and a lot of knowledge about uh, the uh, malayalam the vernacular language and also uh, the cultural patterns that have evolved in the kerala society over a period of time and kathakali actors use lots and lots of neoclassical images for instance when the hero and the heroine come on stage the hero addresses the heroine as the one who has uh, the face equivalent to that of a lotus flower so which uh, the kids won't be able to make out because uh, they don't know even what lotus flower is all about and lotus flower and all such kind of images uh, which are very much used in the neoclassical literature come to the fore when a kathakali actor performs that also makes it difficult for people who do not have a flavor flair for language to appreciate this form but still even with all these limitations the fantastic headgears the glittering ornaments uh, the costumes the colorful costumes and the whole superhuman characters that appeal to the audience very much unfortunately we don't have live music here uh, if live music Uh, is there then it's a different uh, story altogether because then the whole performance will be shifted to another level uh, unfortunately we don't have because the universities do not have much fun to give so i cannot bring the vocalists or instrumentalists only private organizers can do it so we are sorry about it and uh, the story that is being then accept to the story that is being presented here is from the play kechagavatham which is a very famous play from mahabharata this is uh, you know mahabharata is broadly it broadly speaks about the eternal rivalry between the two branches of a family the pandavas and the kauravas and in a dice game the pandavas are defeated because of the treacherous uh, uh, practices by duryodhana and his uncle shakuni and when the pandavas are defeated they are driven to the forest and they have to lead a life of 12 years in exile and one year disguised life they live in cognito for a year and during that time when they are having their life in incognito in the kingdom of virada king virada in various names arjuna has the name brahmanala which he which is actually a curse he got from the heaven so that became that came to his rescue when he had to live here in incognito and then valala who is bemus and who is a cook in that kingdom and yudhishthira is playing dice game with uh, king virada and sairanthri she is the one who is somewhat like a maid servant of the queen sudekshna and one day kechaga uh, who is the anti hero here the pratinayaka we say in sanskrit he comes across sairanthri and he becomes madly in he falls madly in love with her and the the present scene is it begins with the curtain look of uh, kichaka curtain look is meant for the villainous characters and the demonic characters in kathakali 
by cut and look what we mean is that curtain is brought down slowly by the actor in the in that particular role either it is kijaga or ravana or dushasana they bring down the curtain a little bit and then they show three different expressions the shrinkara love then the heroism which is vira and then there is anger these three different expressions are shown this is to establish that character on stage and the trishila the curtain which is held by two persons this has a very special very distinctive function to execute this is the one that transcends time and space in kathakali once the curtain comes on stage and when it is removed when it is taken off taken down when it is taken off then it might be a palace next time in the next scene when the curtain comes and it goes it might be a forest so that's a, it's a theatrical device traditional theatrical device to transcend time and space that's all about uh, mm, kathakali and uh, the character kejaga comes and there is first the curtain look which is not as kejaga but anyone who takes the role of anti heroes they have to customarily execute this bringing down the curtain and showing these three different expressions afterwards the play process begins kejaga comes on stage and uh, sayantri comes uh, she comes at the uh, order of uh, sudekshana the queen that she should bring wine and rice to sudeshna from kijaga's house that was a clever ploy which she found out so that kijaga can meet sairanthri and they can have an intimate conversation and kijaga makes all sorts of advances as calling her as dear right you have uh, walked all the way from there to the, to my house so i would like to caress your legs and then he says my house has become so glorious because of your presence and if I, and i'm just uh, getting making ready the bed and uh, all the arrangements i'm just uh, uh, sprinkling flowers on the bed and also i am also sprinkling the perfume so that you can come and sit on my bed and we can have a dalliance here and uh, sairanthri flatly refuses everything and she resists uh, his move uh, but kijaga becomes very angry and uh, he kicks her, kicks her and finally somehow she escapes from the scene and afterwards so many different things happen then sairanthri goes to bhima valala and tells him about all these and valala says you just go and tell kijaga that next time uh, next day next night she would come to the nurtashala the dancing hall where she would lie down so that kijaga can come and they can have dalliance and that portion of that scene is not shown here but the last scene in which kejaka comes to the dancing hall because uh, draupadi uh, sairanthri earlier told him that he can come there and she would be there and valala bhima is actually lying down there but kejaka doesn't realize kejaka very much believes that believes that it is uh, sairanthri the ethereal beauty who is lying down there and he can have dalliances with her and then he repents for what he did he kicked her before he scolded her he tried to abuse her so and he becomes uh, full of remorse and finally he says this is my bliss and in the shloka which precedes this padam it says there are three inspirations for kitaga to come here one krishna that is sairanthri the next is kama lust the third one is lord death yama krishna kamandaga these three are the inspirations that finally force kichaga to come here and kichaga has a very painful tragic death so that death of kichaga you would see but you will not see valala all those things you will have to imagine that's what abhinav abhinav gupta in his abhinav bharati says spectators should know what's going to happen they have so much of imagination for this sorts of performances so it's all left to the perfor- uh, to the uh, to the spectators now because 
we have our limitations not because of abhinav abhinav gupta thank you very much and let's see how the performance goes there will be subtitles and subtitles will tell you will guide you to a certain extent what happens on stage thank you and uh, manoj is a talented actor is very versatile you can take heroic roles anti heroes and demons all these different characters you can do he comes and uh, today's special actress is uh, uh, meenakshi the daughter of uh, manoj who takes the role of zaidan 3 so it's going to be her maiden performance as a kavigali uh, actress so let's see how everything progresses thank you very much bye
ಪಾಂಜಾಲನರೆ
समनि पीत रूप Oh, Lee, my name. 
ساسي وداني
मंदिर Ma 
ಕಾದಂಬರಿದರಿಗೆನ್ನು ಮುದಾನಿ ಕಾದಂಬರಿದರಿಗೆನ್ನು ಮುದಾನಿ ಕಾದಂಬರಿದರಿಗೆನ್ನು ಮುದಾನಿ ಕನಿವಿ ನೋಡದು ತಂದಿಡೇಣ ಮಧುನ ಕನಿವಿ ನೋಡದು ತಂದಿಡೇಣ ಮಧುನ ಕನಿವಿ ನೋಡದು ತಂದಿಡೇಣ ಮಧುನ ಕನಿವಿ ನೋಡದು ತಂದಿಡೇಣ ಮಧುನ ಅರುದರು ಧನುಜಿದ ಭಜನಂ ಕುಮದೇ ಅರುದರು ಧನುಜಿದ ಭಜನಂ ಕುಮದೇ ಅರುದರು ಧನುಜಿದ ಭಜನಂ ಕುಮದೇ ಅರುದರು ಧನುಜಿದ ಭಜನಂ ಕುಮದೇ ಹಂದ ಹಂದ ಬೆರುತೆ ಕುಮದೆ ಹಂದ ಹಂದ ಬೆರುದೆ
e tão Sadaya manu na yelat makanda Oh. 
देव
पल्लव
you know <laughs> the way they he portrayed emotions using facial expressions very immaculate footwork precise hand gestures my god mind boggling remarkable so kathakali it is said kathakali is not something that you can master in a few months or a few years i don't know i may be wrong but it generally takes about 10 15 years to master the craft and to be able to perform something like this and that shows their commitment they have invested their time and energy their entire life to learn this craft and that's what we saw here today this was just a trailer so just see how the kathakali performance is going to be how soul feeling it's going to be for all, all of us so i'm sorry i got a little carried away my job here is to say the word of thanks so <laughs> <laughs> so for having come here and allowed us gave us this opportunity to witness a, a scintillating performance i want to thank from the bottom of my, my bottom of my heart on beho- behalf of myself and also on behalf of the entire uh, organizing team here a big thank you to manoj kalamandalam and uh, mr kaladharan master let's give them a big round of applause and also to our own sairendri menon here oh sorry i got carried away again you are minachi menon what a performance right she was living sairendri right so sairendri menon is your name from now right right beautiful performance and i really appreciate your hard work and your passion for this not many uh, kids have this kind of passion i really appreciate that and i want to recognize a few individuals who made this happen here they spearheaded this entire initiative here they conceived the concept they spearheaded they coordinated they got a lot of volunteers together conveyed this idea and and that's the result that we are seeing here so many people here and they are none other than our own manoj menon and uh, shyam sundar come, come they were uh, so meticulous in their planning their organizing and that's the result we are seeing today so many people attended this and it was uh, again credit all goes to him and uh, manoj and uh, kaladharan master uh, are known to him also to manoj so big thank you from all of us here for considering this and bringing the event here and also a big team of an army of volunteers i can i can say that people who made all this happen you know it'll be a it'll be a big task for me to name all the volunteers i still have a cheat sheet here on the names of all the people so that i don't forget anyone but there is there are plenty of chances that i could have forgotten someone please excuse me my apologies for that volunteers like sunil satish madatil satish nayar balu narayanan babu shankar ramakrishnan balu ambadi jay kumar soman pillai meena jay kumar Santhya Satyan, Jai Vishwanath, Arun Kuti, Jai Raj, Brijesh, Sri Devi, and of course Nisha Nair. And of course, I'll be failing in my duty if I don't recognize Sajana, Minachi, and Sri Lakshmi. they were they were with the team from the from the very outset and till today they have been working very hard behind the scenes and you know the volunteers a few words about volunteers they have been planning this trying to perfect every little aspect every meticulous detailed aspect of this program for the last several weeks 
and I was witness to that, and that's what we are seeing here. It was so flawless, execution was so flawless that let's give a big round of applause to all our volunteers. And you know, for shows like this, there is one ingredient that's very essential for the success of these kinds of events and shows, and that is none other than all of you, the audience. Without your participation, your wholehearted support, and you know, timely arrivals and, and being patient with the performance, etc., it wouldn't have been successful at all. So a big round of applause for the audience here who made it happen. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible. I'm not sure if I have, I have missed out anyone else to thank. Of course, once again, a big thank you to the performers, uh, Kalamandala Manoj, Sairendri Menon, Minachi Menon, and uh, uh, Kaladharan Master. And I want to take this opportunity to let you know that this is just the beginning. Okay, we are planning to bring more such events for, for you all. And I would request and I would expect the same level of cooperation support uh, from all of you, even at a bigger level, at a greater level for, for making all those uh, events very successful here. So thank you once again. Let's give a big round of applause to everyone involved in this program. Thank you and good night. So there's just one more minute. We want to recognize both the artists. Uh, Kaladharan Master is a big scholar and expert on Kadagali. I would like to honor both of them here on behalf of the organizing team. Thank you. Sri Kaladharan is more known to be an art critic. If you Google him up, you will notice a lot of um, you know, descriptions of different art forms done by him on different media. Um, so I would highly recommend to do that. It's an honor to have him here. Thank you, Sri Kaladharan. Thank you very much. Sri Manoj is, is here since... Um, the beginning of September. He has been touring. Um, yeah. uh, you know, he's here for another three more weeks and he in, in the US he's traveling to Atlanta tomorrow morning. They, they both are and he has like another half a dozen universities to cover uh, across the nation and I think the final stop is in Hawaii so you can imagine that the distance that you're flying, you know. Uh, it's just amazing and it, it makes all of us very proud to see the art form is going all these places, right? So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you.